quickly create a croissant in no mask on the iPad. This is the array tool. You're going to want to bookmark this because I'm going to go slow. In the symmetry menu, I'm going to turn on show line. This will give me the center of my scene. In the shapes menu, look for curve array. This will allow me to quickly duplicate. Let's increase the segments. I could stretch it, bend it, curl it. This tool saves me a lot of time. From the front view snap, I can increase the size here. Move this to the right. I'll start with a straight shot. Increase the count. Tap that radius button. I can adjust the size from my endpoint and my starting point. We're halfway there to the croissant. Switch the view to the top. I can add points to my curve by tapping it. I'll adjust the endpoint down and then move the middle up. Now we have this real smooth curve. I'm gonna add more points to this line so it can further curl in itself like a snail. I'm only worrying about half of the croissant. Ever so often I increase the count. Right now it's looking like one of those cornucopia things. Just the size, oh, that's too big. That's what she said. I'm American, so I only know what American croissants look like. Pretty much all I see is the Costco croissant in my head. I could tap my original sphere. I can use the move tool to bend it and all the other ones will follow suit. This is super handy. Now I'm gonna adjust my scene and go at it with a different angle. Let's move the angle to the front and I'll squish the bottom up. Now the bottom is semi-flat. In my other tutorials, I use this tool pretty much for like snakes. It's also great for horns. This will even work for like making arms and limbs. Also fish, whiskers, chain links. To get back into the array, I tap the array button. From the front view, I'll adjust the curve. Push this down. I know this is super cartoony, but we're gonna add a little bit of organic bend to it. Make it look like gravity has an effect on it. That looks good. I'll pull this one a little further from a different angle. I wanted to try something different with this video, so I went a little bit slower. Let me know in the comments if you like the slower tutorials. When I'm done, I click validate, join children. Half of the croissant is done in the symmetry menu. I'm gonna duplicate it from right to left. Now I have two objects in my scene that are just joined together, not merged together. The grid on, I'm gonna hold down the voxel button on the bottom of the screen. I'll turn the resolution into something manageable like 300. That means I'll have like 300 little tiny grid boxes all over the model. Now that it's all one object, I'm going to flatten the bottom. So I'll snap to the front view and trim the bottom. A lot of times I'll get this weird geometry after slicing something. All I have to do is just tap the voxel button and remesh it. So now we have a delicious boring croissant. Let's add a little bit of design and imagination. Put a head right in the middle. Give it a squiggly type of mouth. Invert mask. The croissant pretty much is gonna be a hoodie. This little dude is wearing the croissant. Add some cuffs. Mask extract that. The inverted crease tool I use a lot. Why not? Let's add some muscles. Pecs. Make deep cuts with the crease tool. Clay tool to add some volume. As I go along, I'll increase the voxels up a little bit to like 400. Let's add a rear delt here. They connect the lats. I'll mask invert, let's give it some abs. You know, if you eat a lot of croissant, you're gonna get kind of overweight, but in my imagination, the more croissants you eat, the more muscular you get. We'll add some cuts and rippage, caloric deficit croissant, yeah. Delicious serratuses, meaty traps, mid-back muscles. And then we need some huge ass quads. Give it some J Cutler stompage, striated glutes. I'm just making up stuff as I go. Give it some bow-leggedness. Actin and myosin going crazy, the myostatin out of control, trend hard, anavar give up, give him a crunch, throw out that lower back, ripped and buttery, flaky croissant, vascularity with the veins, clusters of vessels, mature, dense muscle, that young Lee Priest, Dorian Yates style muscle, got that clan breakfast, lunch and dinner, I don't know how we got here, but we got here, the most jacked croissant you will ever see in your life. Let's call him Jimmy Dean. I don't know if Jimmy Dean's owned by Kellogg's. Kellogg's can kiss my ass. Let's 3D print it on the A1. It'll take like five hours. Hope the algorithm brings you back.